over someone that was manipulative as hell. And it's weird how it just shifts to the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. There's someone that absolutely cannot stop thinking about you. Hi Aries, I'm here to do your love reading for December. Your overall energy this month is interesting because you have the Five of Cups and Enemy on top of this. There's someone that was close to you that you know now is untrustworthy. Something they did to you they now regret. They're trying to pick up the pieces. They're trying to undo certain things that they did. And it's not that there's this feeling of remorse. There's a feeling of embarrassment. There's a feeling of their ego is still in the way, even though they realize intellectually whatever they did it did not work out in their favor and it actually bit them instead. This is someone who feels like you won out over them. They feel very defensive. They feel like they no longer have the upper hand. This person may have been acting very immature or there could have been actual children involved in the situation that got in the middle of this. Someone's plan did not work out. You're feeling really independent. You have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of your deck, and you have money right on top of you. You're also showing up as the Queen of Pentacles in your energy. So when it comes to your money, when it comes to your career, you're in a position of power. You're independently completing your goals, and your bank account is going to be seeing an increase in funds, or you're going to be experiencing more opportunities for your career. People are seeing you as being very down-to-earth right now, very solid, someone to rely on, someone that gets the job done. You're going to be having a lot of people that want to actually spend time with you and be around you, be in your energy, because you're giving off a very sobering energy. You're giving off an energy where you're just real and you're being real, and that's what people are appreciating about you right now and throughout the month of December. You have the Eight of Cups reversed in your energy, so this is you having difficulty walking away from a connection, walking away from a relationship or a family situation or a friendship. The feeling that I'm getting from this is you don't want to regret something and then look back on it and wish you had done something differently. So you're kind of stewing on this. There's this feeling that you're having of not wanting to run out of time or things taking too long. Because you have a clock here for one of your oracle cards. It says need time, takes time. In time cycles, time to heal, progress. This huge feeling of the clock ticking is very much on your mind right now. You're hyper aware of it. You have the king of pentacles and the king of cups reversed. The king of pentacles is going to be either an earth sign or someone who is very career-minded, someone who is very determined. This person may have been at a distance from you recently. There's a feeling of longing, but this feels like it's actually on their side. This person's daydreaming about you. There's a huge distance here, whether it's a physical distance or an emotional distance. You have communication on top of this person and the magician. So there's going to be steps taken to manifest communication. But then you have this water sign or this emotional person and they're showing up reversed. Someone acting out either too over-emotional or they're in a state of depression. They could also be dealing with health concerns because they have health right on top of them and despair. So this person, this is showing up around the middle of December, whereas this one over here is showing up around the beginning of December. The energy of this one is very, very sad almost pain. I'm getting like an actual pain. Seems very physical. Again, health. They have the devil reversed right next to them. This person's experiencing this emotional or physical pain because they've stayed in a toxic situation for too long. If this is you, Aries, you're the one that's needing to break free from this and you know that, especially towards the end of December. If you're the one struggling with health conditions, it's like this negative cloud that has been impacting your physical body. You end on fortune and the nine of cups. Someone wants to be with you. This feels like someone else's energy. And it's like you're creating a lot more financial growth for yourself. You're experiencing a lot more luck and abundance because you're coming out of a situation or you're healing a situation that was very stifling to you. 
And it's like someone else's energy really had a huge effect on your health or your energy. Because this is definitely rubbing off on you. This person here. You have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. This person right here is definitely thinking of you. And you end on someone wanting to be with you. This is going to feel like a huge switch or a huge change in events or of energy towards the end of December. It kind of feels like you've been staying out of too much emotion. Even if other people are, are becoming more emotional around you, you're the one keeping a foot on the ground and staying realistic. Towards the end of the month, I feel like this is where you're going to get communication or you're going to get this huge feeling that someone really wants to be with you with the Nine of Cups. This is like they're putting you on a pedestal. Deep down, they really want a relationship with you. You may be caught off guard by this because you're not really, again, like I said, you're not feeling that emotional this month. You're more pragmatic. You're more about your money, your finances, your career, leveling up in life, achieving your goals, etc., but you're definitely going to be receiving communication because you also have receiving a message. And you did have that here with letter and the magician. You've been hurt or this person has been hurt. So someone here needs to seek or ask for forgiveness. This could be you, Aries, or this could be someone else. But this message is definitely about asking for forgiveness. Because someone's been hurt. And it's like this person can't really move on until they get that forgiveness or they get that apology. You also have moving here. Either you moved away and this person didn't realize that they wouldn't really get closure with you. So the distance made it even more challenging for them to get closure and move on. Or this person moved away from you. You have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. You do have a lot of love coming towards you, but this feels like someone else thinking about you. Someone may actually move and there's the clock ticking down in terms of figuring out what they want to do, figuring out what they want to say to you, if they want to fix something, heal the hurt that was caused. You are definitely making healthier choices. It says making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happy. That's the second time a card has said self-love. Which is really what the Queen of Pentacles is all about. Because again, she puts herself first. She uses the world around her to satiate her and heal her. So you are making healthier choices in love and in your life. And that's also what the devil being reversed is signifying. You not getting stuck in toxic patterns. Shifting the way that you used to repeat certain patterns. Because you may have felt like you used to be the chaser. It says chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. And you have Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting hesitation yeah and what's interesting is i feel like there's two different energies there's this emotional water sign and there's this career-minded earth sign they don't have to be those signs but you'll know them based on their personality you have love coming in you do you also have rise up you know that now is the time to take action with certain goals in your life you may have been choosing to rest a lot lately and now you know it's go time. You also have discoveries ahead. All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered. The point is to discover them. So this is about taking action on a new journey. The number 30 is significant. And you have space out. One's destination is never a place, but always a new way of seeing things. Yeah, it's like energetically you've been resting you've been getting ready to go you've been getting ready you're right on the precipice you're right on the edge of starting something or moving somewhere for some of you the end of december is going to be a very lucky time for you there's going to be something that happens here for you and this is going to be different for each person listening to this but fortune and the nine of cups that's amazing you're going to get something that you actually want 
or that you set out for, whether it's getting a house that you wanted that you're moving towards, getting a job or more clientele that you set out to get, or a lover coming towards you that has been fantasizing about you. It's like you didn't even see this coming or you didn't even know this person was thinking about you like that. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. I'm also seeing Capricorn or they have a lot of that in their chart. I'm seeing Libra as well. Okay, Aries, we're going to look at this deeper in your extended. All the links are down below. I love you so much and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.